Last Friday, Nanpasat International Communications, NPIC, launched its solar power energy system at Tain on the quarantine. Shanice Beckers reports. Executive officials, including Guyana's Prime Minister, Honorable Moses Nagamutu, on Friday last were present at the launching of the Nan Prasad Group of Companies Innovative and Development Friendly Green Energy System at Nan Prasad International Communication Inc. Tain Quarantine. The project is said to have cost some $110 million, whilst Nan Prasad International Communication is the first major company in Guyana to have gone 100% solar. Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Moses Nagamutu, who delivered the feature address, noted that the Nan Prasad Group must be hailed for their diversity in investments ranging from rice, marketing, and now renewable energy. We are not entirely new to the use of technology except that it was never captured in a large scale and we allow ourselves to depend almost solely on fuel on imported oil for energy whether to cook or to produce electricity in our homes I want to congratulate the Nantasol group of companies for their innovation, their vision, their foresight. The entire Guyana, we hope by 2025, we hope to transition to renewable energy, to clean energy, to cheap energy. Mr. Nagamutu elaborated. There is another dimension to this story that we are talking about today, and that is the dimension of linking solar energy, renewable energy, they say, because you could always, you always have the sunlight. It is, you could renew it every day, but you wouldn't have oil every day. You cannot renew it. Even though we stand today on the cusp of becoming one of the world's more important oil producing state, we have now discovered a second oil deposit in quantities amounting to billions of barrels of oil that will make us the new focus of the world as a so-called oil-producing, so-called rich country in the near future, we still cannot, with the resources we have, we still cannot depend solely on oil, either for domestic purposes or even for revenues, or endingly for exports. We have to deal with what we have and what we are blessed with. And as I said, the sunlight, solar energy, has made us even more important than our oil. The Honorable Prime Minister disclosed that some $250 million have been budgeted to start renewable energy programs in various parts of the country. Region 6 Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan stressed that clean and renewable energy is crucial for the continued economic growth and prosperity of our country. I believe that the key to unlocking Guyana's potential lies in identifying opportunities that can utilize natural energy resources which can be beneficial to our country not only in an economic way but also benefit our environment. Because we have seen with the rising cost of fossil fuel today and the use of fossil fuel that produces high levels of greenhouse gases and its consequent effects on rising temperature, rising sea levels and changing weather conditions. These have had devastating effects, not only in Diana but around the world. And so Diana needs to play its part 
to ensuring that we save our environment. And that is why projects like these that can utilize natural resources which are in abundant supply here, we have an abundant supply of sun, sunshine, we have an abundant supply of waterways, and we have also an abundant supply of wind. Also in attendance at the ceremony was Minister of Business, Honorable Dominic Gaskin, the Indian High Commissioner, Mr. V. Mahalingam, Honorable Consultant of Norway, Mr. Desmond Sears, and representatives from other business organizations. Former Prime Minister Samuel Hines was also present at the event. Shinis Beckles reporting for Channel 8 News.